this demo, I'm going to use the acoustic guitar from the stand-in um, set. And the first thing I'm going to do is cover it in black gesso. Now, the one thing to bear in mind with this is this little notch at the bottom. It needs to remain clear so that it fits in snugly. That's how they're designed is to fit in snugly. And if you cover it, it might hinder it. So perhaps cover it with a bit of masking tape while you paint. But worst come to the worst, don't worry. You can sand it back to make it fit. So uh, I've also got some other bits that I've also painted in uh, black gesso. Uh, we've got a circuit, which I think is from our industrial pack or our robot junkyard pack, which might still be available on Hachanda's website. Uh, then we've got wires. Um, they've got a bit of flex to them, even though they are still made out of MDF and some cogs. And I'm going to use all of these bits on the guitar to make a metal looking guitar where you can see the inside workings of the guitar. That's sort of the idea behind all of this. So uh, I'm just going to sort of play with it. The circuit is normally as one, by the way. This is actually being sort of, uh, I snapped it in half to make it sort of fit across here and I'm going to cut it further. But um, I've also got these uh, moulds that I'm going to use and they've got like a real metal uh, sheet sort of look to them so they're going to be fantastic for this project and the nice thing is they're easy to cut so now all I'm doing is laying them just to see uh, where I want them and that includes sort of positioning the insides and once I've got it uh, where I want it um, I'm now going to flip it over and take a pen or a pencil and I'm going to draw around the edge of the guitar because obviously I don't want the mould pieces to be hanging over. I want them to fit the shape. Uh, and as you can see, I've now got a nice line and that's going to be nice and easy to cut round um, to fit onto the guitar and make the nice sort of metal look. So just using a normal pair of scissors, you can cut your mould out. Um, Ready for this in a blue, true blue Peter style. I here are some I made earlier, and I've also painted these in silver. So uh, I've given them silver look so that it's like a new shiny metal. In a minute, I'm going to show you how to make it sort of look like an older metal because I don't want it to look. If you want it to look like a brand new guitar, but the idea is if it's in as a falling out. Um, you don't necessarily want it to look brand new, but again, just leaving that little notch at the bottom. Uh, because again it won't fit in if you've put the mold over it so again I'm going back to now figuring out where I want everything uh, making sure everything's going to fit how I want uh, before I put anything on I'm going to make these metal bits look older so take a piece of cloth whether it be um, a baby wipe or uh, you know a wet bit of cloth uh, if you use a baby wipe bearing in mind um, you can't recycle them so you know perhaps use them later in a project when you they're covered in lovely colors from all your projects so I'm using a bit of black gesso you can use black acrylic I've put a bit on one of the areas uh, I put it on quite thickly I'm not dry brushing I put it on you know quite generously and then I'm taking the wet or the damp cloth and I'm rubbing it off and I didn't put it all over uh, and as you can see, by using the cloth to rub it round and all over it's smeared it all over but without leaving it dark black and it gives that real nice sort of pitted metal look and you can see the details far better and again you can see I'm not going to cover all of this I'm just going to cover a bit of it and then I'm going to go in and wipe it off with a cloth now if you put end up putting too much on don't panic you just paint over it again in the silver uh, but the likelihood is you'll, you'll always be able to knock it back enough that you'll be happy with it I'm also going to just use uh, the bit of cloth that's got the black on it on the cut-off pieces because I'm going to use these to make a top piece for the guitar. Um, so I'm not even putting any paint on here. I am just using the pieces off the cloth. And that's it. That's, you know, that's your metal pieces all done, look nice and um, aged and nice and defined. And you can go back to uh, now preparing where everything is going to go. Now I'm going to leave this where it is because I'm going to give these other black bits an aged look. So I'll be back in a second. So now I'm going to give these pieces an aged look. And what I'm doing now is obviously they're already covered in black gesso. So what I am doing is dry brushing them with the silver. So um, when you dry brush, you need to have a real light touch to it. So really um sort of lift your brush hold it above it 
and start flicking it side to side without touching it and then very gently lower it to you, to the object you're trying to dry brush until it starts touching it and then you get this type of effect so that's with a black underneath and then the silver on top and straight away it starts to give it a metallic look that's two colors really quick really simple and they look great now we're going to go back to setting up uh, the pieces where we want them and the first thing I'm doing is laying the piece of circuit over the guitar and working out where I need to put the cuts so a pencil didn't quite work I couldn't quite see the lines on the grey so I'm using a an alcohol mark or just a darker pen anything will do sharp you know any type of pen uh, will do but uh, just so that you can see the lines and using a good pair of scissors you will be able to cut through this. If you don't have a decent pair of scissors, a uh, Stanley knife, a really good craft knife, you might have to sort of keep going over the same area a couple of times, keep sort of swiping it a couple of times to get through it, but you, you will be able to get through it. But a decent pair of scissors like this and you'll be able to sort of chop through. Um, you saw how easy that was. So now it's just about positioning it and getting it where you want it. And now we need to put some glue on the back. Now, because there's quite a few um, finer bits, I don't want on the thinner bits it to end up squidging out the side so what I do is I'm going to dab it over it now with my finger uh, just to sort of smear it out so there's none of the big globs and this means it is less likely to squidge out of the sides obviously if you don't like getting glue on your hands wear gloves or use an old brush or something like that to put your glue on position it give it a squish down till you're happy that it's in place uh, I'm using a brush just to take out some of the glue uh, you don't need to it'll dry clear but that's just my preference and now I'm positioning the other bits where I'm going to want them including this bit of circuit so I don't need all of it on there um, because it's going to sit underneath so it'll just be a waste leaving it on there so once I've got that right as well I can then decide um, or then just check everything fits all right uh, where I'm putting it uh, and like it's a little bit blank in this sort of corner another thing that I should say as well uh, when you see bits pinging off like that is you should wear safety goggles when you're cutting things like this um, please don't uh, do it with your, without your eyes protected in case something does flick and hit it or make sure your hands covering it so it can't flick off anywhere and I'm just going to check um, that it's definitely where I want it uh, so once that's uh, glued down, I'll glue, glue down the last piece here and stick this in place. So I'll line it up. I don't want it to hang over the edge. And that's better, that's that. Okay, so now I'm going to start positioning the cogs and I'm going to do them all the way up the neck of the guitar. But there's no point me doing that um, whilst you're uh, watching because it's just more sticking and gluing. So I'm gonna do that and I will be back in a second. Okay, now I'm back. Uh, as you can see, all the bits are glued on. I've added a bit of wire in the middle bit and I've added a bit of wire over the cogs. I made it so the cogs were actually touching each other so they did look like they worked, but because it's in such a straight line, it just looked uh, a bit too straight. So that's why the wire's over the top of it, just to break it up a bit. And that wire was because um, it left a bit of a gap. Okay, so when it comes to these metal pieces, when you're going to put them on, they actually sit a little bit lower than what's meant to be the inners. So what you need to do is you need to pack it out underneath on the on the base pieces so that it makes it sit higher than, than the central pieces. So I've got um, scrap pieces of MDF. I'm going to use these to pack it out and stick the metal bits on and I'll be back. So now I'm back and as you can see I have painted the base. I've done it the same way that I did the other pieces and what I'm going to do with some of the leftover parts of the circuit is stick it to the base so that what it looks like is these are the pieces that help power this guitar. And as you can see all the pieces are stuck on the guitar including the mouldings sitting high enough that it doesn't restrict that notch um, going into the base. So I'm just going to find where I'm happy with them. Sit it on your base first because otherwise you could put them too close to the hole and then where part of the base sits, you know, sits either side, part of the guitar sits either side on the base, it might not sit onto the base properly with these bits there. So you don't necessarily have to glue it in place, but just stand it in place before you stick any of these bits down. Stick these bits down uh, where you're happy and where it isn't obviously restricting the standing portion of the guitar. And um, I'm just making sure that I'm happy with it. I'm pushing it all down. And then that is your project. That is your guitar all done. So as you can see, it's got a really good sort of metal look. It was really simple, two colours, black and silver. 
And yeah, it's a great effect. It would make a great gift, great for in a boy's bedroom or even a girl's bedroom. It doesn't have to be a boy's bedroom. But yeah, really, really effective. I um, hope you enjoyed the demo. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell notification if you want to keep updated on future videos.